Hey guys, it's Abby from Autumn of Pelinor and today I'm doing the aesthetically pleasing book tag. <laughs> As you can see, I'm repping Ravenclaw here today. It is just the Hogwarts house crest, but it's blue for Ravenclaw. So this tag has got 11 questions. As per usual, I found it from Books and Lala. I find most of my tags from her because she loves doing Tag Tuesdays. So I will link her video and the original video down below. Make sure to check both of them out. They're both really, really good. I did watch the original as well. So this is all about kind of the design of a book and what goes on other than the author's words. So although the authors put so much work into their books, the designers and the publishers also put a lot of work into the outside and the aesthetic side of it. So this is kind of celebrating that a little bit and pointing out some really beautifully designed books. So question one asks the colour combination that you personally prefer on a book cover and stuff that I really like on book covers is black and red. So, well, this is one with the nice red edges and the black cover. And we've also got, I'm not going to get them out because they're kind of stuck in there, but The Messenger of Fear and The Tattooed Heart by Michael Grant, they both have sprayed edges. One book's black with red spray sprayed edges, one book's red with black sprayed edges. There's also Ali Carter books. There are two like this that I have. Um, the other one is I Tell You I Love You But Then I Have To Kill You. Red with black. I don't actually own Simon vs. The Homo Sapiens Agenda. I've not read it either, but I have this little sampler also red and black. My copy of Divergent is a shade of red with black on the bottom. I just personally really like that stark difference between them. I do tend to actually pick more blue books than anything else. My favourites are blue, black, red and then kind of a mix of all the others, but I love the combination of black and red. Question two is the best typography or font on, font on a book cover and for this I'm going to go for The Gift by Alison Crogan. Oh, don't fall. Pretty please don't fall. This is why I wasn't taking these out before. Okay. Okay. Well now they fall then I can show you these are sprayed red on the edges. And like the covers and stuff. Ta-da! Now! <laughs> Go back in! So, I originally didn't think there was anything overly special about the font. I've always loved the design of the covers and I just thought yeah the font's nice it goes but ever since the new set of covers has come out for this series in the UK the font is slightly different it's slightly neater and I don't like it I much prefer the old font with the kind of messier script it looks more handwritten whereas the neater font looks like it's typed. Question three is the best simple cover and for me that is The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. This is just red with black, it also has white, and it's just the silhouette of someone pushed up against a solid surface. And it's really simple and really effective and I really like it. Question four asks the best end pages in a book. And for me, I don't have a lot of hardbacks. Most people would run to a hardback for this, and I don't have many. <laughs> um, so I went straight to ink, and for starters, this has a beautiful cover beautiful back cover, beautiful spine, but also on the inside. In here is where the synopsis is, and in here, if I can turn it, it's just that beautiful design, and obviously it's not as shiny as the outside, but it's just so nice, and this is my favourite end pages. Question five asks for the best map, and for me that is the maps that are present in the inheritance cycle. I'll get this one because the others are in a box set slash are a giant hardback holding up everything else. But can I get the camera to focus on this? Probably not. So I'm hoping you guys can see that. Um, I've tried to make the camera focus but I just love the art style and the detailed drawing. And I know that at the Haderach Desert there's loads of empty space but that's just kind of how it is. And everything else is really detailed and yeah, I just really like it. Question six is the best naked hardback and for me... This is La Belle's <laughs> La Belle Sauvage, which is the first volume in the Book of Dust, which is a prequel series from His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. Now this is really pretty as it is. I love that, I love that, and I like the plain back. However, oh it's also got pretty end pages. I didn't realise actually. This also has quite nice end pages, just there's the same on both sides, just nice smooth water. But I really love the kind of like 
dotted starry effect and it's I don't know if you can see it but it's like an embossed gold so it's shiny when you move it in the light and then also down here there's like a quote about La Belle Sauvage which is a, a boat in the book so I really enjoyed that it's just I always find this so pretty question seven is the best back cover of a book and as I said I could have went with ink for this but I'm actually going to go with the book thief now the copy I have is the film edition which normally I hate. I've unhauled various film editions that I previously owned. Divergent, I used to own this in the film cover. And I specifically ask for non-film covers for other books. But this wasn't bought by me and I wasn't aware it had a film cover so I didn't request to not have it. And I ended up with it. And I actually don't mind it. It's a very simplistic cover whilst also demonstrating everything that happens. And on the back... It's, um, I'll show you. Okay, so on the back, it kind of narrates this book in a very weird way and summarises it brilliantly. I love the different bullet points here. I love the different titles with the kind of maroon, red, brown colour. That's what maroon is. Um, and I just, I love the starkness of it and I'm aware it's just a synopsis but I think it's just done really, really well and I love the layout. I don't know if the layout of the synopsis is done the same in the other editions of this book, um, but I just really, really enjoy this one. Question eight is the best chapter headers. And for me, that's gonna be Revenge of the Witch, the first book of The Last Apprentice or the Spook series by Joseph Delaney. It's The Last Apprentice, Last Apprentice in the US. It's Spooks in the UK. I got them in the US so I have The Last Apprentice despite being British and where's the first chapter header I can find? All of the chapter headers have drawings in them but they're all illustrated and just in a way that I think is really it goes very well with the book the thematics of it because obviously it's black and white just because of the way it's printed but that really goes with the book style and the drawing style again really goes with how the book is it's on the creepier side, it is called Then question nine is the best illustrations in a book and I've kind of cheated with this one because I'm picking Vincent by Barbara Stock and this is a graphic novel about the life of Vincent Van Gogh and I just really like her art style. It's nice and simplistic but it also gives you the details that you need and I just think it's done really well. This was a lovely present from my boyfriend because he knows how much I love Vincent Van Gogh. So, yeah, I won't show you all of it, but I really love this one. So I'm aware I'm kind of cheating because it's a graphic novel, but it doesn't say I can't have graphic novels as answers to the question, so. Question 10 is the best spine of a book, and I kind of struggled with this. And I don't see too many beautiful spines. But I'm going to go with Slated. Um, I'm not as keen on Fractured because there's more of a difference between the eye and the back, but then also Shattered is also kind of a more all-in-one process. And I just like the fact that the eye blends in. There's this nice line running down the middle that also goes through here because you've been crossed out and it goes with the kind of theme of the book. I like the split of the author's name, especially because it's Terry Terry. Yeah, I just really like this. I also really like Shattered, but it's in a cupboard. And question 11, which is the last question, is my favourite cover on my shelves. Now, this was kind of a last minute thought. I was going to go with the traditional thoughts of, like, ink or just a book that I love, like The Gift, which isn't there, it's there. <laughs> um, and I was going to go... I was going to go for something like that. However, then I remembered about this book. I don't even know which way up is meant to go. This one and it's called Flip. Now it's a pity about the barcodes on the spine but that will make sense in a minute because this is the front cover and it says Flip, Flip, Ever Wake Up in Someone Else's Body by Martin Bedford and then it's also here <laughs> but this time his eyes are open and like even if you switch it upside down does it read in the mirror? It reads in the mirror. There's a mirror right there um, but yeah I just it's about kind of swapping bodies with someone and your life being flipped upside down. 
and I like that the cover's on the unique side and that's literally the whole reason I bought it. I remember standing there in Derrick Smith's in the YA section and I saw that and I just went that's cool, I need that. So that's my selection of books for the Aesthetically Pleasing book tag. Not all of my books are quite as pretty as the ones that I've seen Lala do but she does tend to buy books based on their prettiness and I do have quite a few really nice looking books that are on my TBR shelves and I was sticking with my red shelves for this one. So I might redo this in a couple of years if I'm still on booktube, I hope so. Um, I might redo it in a couple of years and see how my answers have changed with the addition of more books. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!